What is up guys? Probably completely forgotten how to vlog at this point. It's been so long. It's been... How's it going? How you doing? Good. It's been probably about two years since I uh, really sat down and did a vlog like this. But I'm now on summer break from school. I guess there's probably a lot of updates for this video. But long story short, I am hitchhiking out to Tennessee from Colorado. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. now. I'm here at a truck stop trying to get a ride. Uh, hopefully with someone going most of the way to Tennessee. So we'll see. Got my sign here. East. Vaccinated. Uh, don't want anyone thinking I'm trying to spread COVID or something like that. I am fully vaccinated. Highly recommended if you want to travel or do anything else. So, yeah, we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure this week. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, I've hitchhiked once before in England. Made it from London all the way to the north coast of Scotland. But I've never done it in America, so we'll see. Um, yeah, let's do it. for a little update it's been most of the day now but uh so i was sitting out side of that truck stop this morning for about an hour and a half um one of the employees came over and he's like hey uh i don't really care that you're here but if you see my boss uh just make sure it doesn't look like you're waving a sign because uh, he might get kicked out. So I was like, all right, appreciate it. Oh, thank you. So I'm sitting there for about an hour and a half or whatever, and the big boss starts coming around. He's riding on a uh, golf cart thing, picking up trash. I was like, all right, I should probably get out of here so I don't get kicked out in case I need to come back. So I left, went over to just the on-ramp of the highway, and not even 10 minutes later, I get picked up by this dude, Alfonso. And he's been driving me this whole way. We're now in Topeka, Kansas. Probably gonna get to Kansas City tonight, which is pretty sick. That was like my uh, huge goal for today was to get to uh, Kansas City. So that's pretty sick. Um, we're just waiting at a rest stop now. He bought me some dinner, which was, which was tight. Shout out Alfonso. Um, but yeah, this is his, his rig here. Been driving all day. Pretty sick. Alright, end of day one update. Made it a bit further than I thought even. We went to Columbia, Missouri. About halfway through from east to, or from west to east I guess. Uh, in Missouri so I'm for sure gonna be able to make it to st. Louis tomorrow I believe hopefully even Louisville Kentucky that'd be sick um, I was thinking it would take at least three days to get there but yeah we'll see um, I haven't found a place to sleep yet still scoping it out a little bit I just got here I'm gonna eat some dinner and then grab some more water I'm at a gas station right now just sitting outside grab some more water and then start scoping out a place to sleep for tonight what's up it is now day two 
with this hitchhiking adventure. 6 a.m. ish, I just woke up. This is where I slept, right here. On the ground. There's the road up there. This is like the, probably, I don't know, 15th time that I've slept rough like this. And let me just tell you, it does not get easier. It was uh, very uncomfortable, but just gotta eat some breakfast and then head over to the highway right over there. Hopefully there's enough room to hitchhike there. It looked pretty narrow last night when I pulled in, but um, we'll see. Might have to um, like go down the highway a little bit. I don't know. See if there's a bus or something. We'll see. Or just walk a little bit. But yeah, gonna try to get at least to Louisville today. I think that's doable. I believe it's like a six hour drive or something like that. So, I mean, if I get as lucky as yesterday, I might make it all the way to Knoxville, which would be crazy. So, we'll see. It's a little bit cold, I'm shivering. But, uh, yeah, gonna pack up all my shit, eat some breakfast, and uh, head over to the spot. So this is my spot for this morning. It's not ideal. The shoulder's not super big and there's this uh, guardrail here, but try it out. Try thumbing for a while. It's only 6.30, so got quite a few hours of uh, daylight where I can try this out. Well, I don't have yesterday's luck. Uh, it's been probably about three hours out there thumbing nothing yet so I decided to try to make a new sign the other one just said east so I have some cities on here now try that out just taking a little bit of, of a break eating a snack and stuff got a Red Bull so I'm getting pretty tired uh, sleeping outside does not offer the best sleep so yeah gonna head back out there try with this new sign Hopefully I can at least get to St. Louis today. That'd be uh, the goal. All right, so this will be my most interesting ride. I was just finished filming up that last clip. This guy said he could take me a few miles down the road where there's a few truck stops and uh, more gas stations and stuff. So I'm gonna sit on the back of this truck here and go that way. Woo, here we go. It's a little bit spooky, but uh, I said we're taking the back roads, we're not going fast, so it's all about the experience, right?
pray we can get to Louisville by today. We'll see. All right, so I picked up a ride to just outside of St. Louis. I think my next best bet is I'm on kind of the, the west side now, but kind of still in the, the urban sprawl, I guess. I think my best bet is to try to hitch a ride to the airport and then get on the light rail train there, which can take me all the way to the east side. So that's what I'm going to try now. Just got a sign that says airport on it. It's only like a 13 minute drive away from where I'm at right now. So hopefully I can get a ride fairly quick, get there, get the light rail all the way to like, I think it's called Shiloh, which is a town on the east side of St. Louis and then from there it'll be easier to get to Louisville. We'll see, it might still be possible to do today. It's only like one o'clock, so fingers crossed. All right, so I decided to just do some public transportation. I don't know if you can hear me over all these cars, but uh, so I took the bus down to like the light rail station and then all I had left on me was a $20 bill uh, to buy a train ticket and they gave me my change. The ticket was $2.50 so they gave me uh, like whatever that is, 17, 17 dollar coins which is a little bit annoying. We've got a pocket full of coins now but uh, yeah so I'm gonna try to take this uh, light rail train all the way to the east side of St. Louis. Might be too late to hitch out of here tonight. We'll see. I'm not sure what time I'm gonna get there. It's currently, what time is it? It's currently 2.15, so we'll see. I figured since I'm here, might as well come see the arch gateway arch and it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be So I took the light rail as far as it went, um, now in Illinois, Shiloh. Uh, I think I'm going to just take the bus some more because there's a bus that goes from here a little bit further down the road east um, to a spot that looks like it has a better highway entrance. Um, there's like a truck stop and stuff there. So apparently there's one coming in uh, 15 or so minutes. So hopefully that works out. I'm too tired to like try to hitch tonight. It's like four o'clock already. Um, and I think it's like three-ish hours uh, to Louisville from here. And I don't want to uh, fall asleep <laughs> in someone, some random person's car, really. So yeah, I'm just gonna bus stay in that area for tonight and then keep hitching tomorrow. So I was waiting here for that bus and apparently it's been out of service for like a year. So that's pretty sick, but it still shows up on Google Maps as a uh, as a way to travel. But this area, this neighborhood or whatever, St. Clair County has a weird like taxi service thing that's like a dollar to anywhere in the county which doesn't make sense at all to me but uh so 
I did that. It's like Uber, but just for this county. So I'm gonna get a ride to an area that might be a little bit easier to hitchhike from. I'm getting a little bit worried about it. I didn't realize uh, that I'm just like in the middle of nowhere now. This behind me is an Air Force base and that's all that there is here. Um, there's not even like a gas station at this exit that I'm at. So the one I'm going to at least has uh, a gas station with like a, a truck stop. So hopefully I can get a ride tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head there, try to scope out a place to sleep tonight. All right, I decided to try to hitch for a couple more hours until it gets dark out. Got an okay spot here. I think I'm just gonna find some place in the, uh, the grass here to sleep, somewhere around here or something. So yeah, gonna give it a couple more hours, see if anything comes through. All right, I managed to get one more ride from that spot I was at. Uh, I really didn't expect to get another ride. I was looking out for places to like crash for the night, but yeah, some guy picked me up, drove me about another hour down the road to Mount Vernon, Illinois. A uh, much busier spot, which is good. I think it'll be easy to get a ride. Um, and it was started raining outside and I was like yeah I'm just gonna get a motel because I have slept out in the rain before been there done that it's not super fun so yeah I'm just gonna stay in a motel tonight get some actual good sleep and start again early in the morning hopefully we'll see fingers crossed make it all the way to Knoxville it's possible I think Knoxville's like 450 miles away. Um, today made it 200 miles, but um, yeah, the first day was like 700 or whatever. So you never know if it's uh, the average between those, it's possible to make it all the way to Knoxville. We'll see. Um, but yeah, today I got three rides I believe uh, and then I also took the bus the light rail uh, the like shuttle thing so it's been a lot of traveling today it's very hard to get through uh, St. Louis in my experience but I think I'm past that hardest part and I hope I don't get stuck inside a city tomorrow um, if I take the best way, I won't be going through, uh, what's it called, Louisville. I'll be going like to the north of it. So I hope I don't have to get stuck in the city again. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go grab some food, come back to the motel, and just get a good night's sleep in so I can continue the journey tomorrow. Okay, day three. I'm off to a little bit later of a start than usual. It's just about seven o'clock. Um, but I got a shower in, new clothes, so feeling good. My feet are in pretty bad pain. I would I would rank it. But um, yeah, hopefully we can get lucky today, make it all the way to Knoxville. Keep your fingers crossed. We'll see. But yeah, I got my uh, my bag all set here. Um, filled up on water. So, ready to go. Gonna go grab some coffee from the hotel lobby. They're not doing breakfast still because of COVID, which is a little bit of a bummer. I wanted to stock up on some free breakfast, but. Oh well, I'm gonna grab some coffee and hit the road. All right, I got a ride about 100 miles down the road. I'm in a horrible spot though, where this highway meets another highway. And the rain's starting to come down. 
so I'm hoping to get a ride. There's a truck stop up here though that uh, if the rain comes down too hard, I'm gonna go over there and uh, hopefully try to get a ride from there. We'll see. Finally got a ride. I was waiting on the uh, that spot I was at on one side of the highway. There was like an hour of light rain instead of hard rain. Um, so I was going to stay half an hour on one side and then move to the other side for the next half an hour. Nothing came the first half an hour. So I walked over to the other side. The first car that came stopped, picked me up. This guy, Rene, he uh, was picking up a delivery in Louisville and dropping it off in New Jersey. So he's going to drop me in Lexington. And then from there, I believe it's only, or yeah, it's just south straight down to Knoxville. So still possible to get to Knoxville today. We shall see. All right, I've made it to Lexington. The uh, I-75 is right here. Should be able to take that south all the way to Knoxville. I'm gonna post up over here and uh, we'll see. Try to get there. Luckily the rain has stopped, just cleared up as we got here. So uh, I'm hoping to continue the good luck with the uh, weather. I guess it wasn't really good luck earlier today, but this current good luck. can't remember exactly where I ended the video yesterday, but um, I'm now in London, Kentucky, about an hour and a half away from Knoxville, which is where I'm trying to get, in a motel, but it is uh, raining pretty hard out there. So I'm going to stay here until checkout, which I think is 11. It's, uh, what time is it? It's 8.40. Slept in a little bit this morning. Um, to like, 7. Um, but yeah. Just gonna chill out here. Hopefully the rain will stop. And I'll be able to get a ride, because I'm very close to the end now. Alright, so I waited for a little while. Wasn't able to get a ride. Um, but another storm is coming in, so I'm walking about four miles. I think I'm like halfway through now, just taking a little break. It's tough to walk with this backpack. Um, to a Walmart that has a Greyhound stop at it, and I'm just going to take the bus the rest of the way to Knoxville, and then be there by like 16. So should be all good hopefully stay out of the rain beat this storm yeah I'd probably end up getting another motel here tonight anyway to get out of the rain so it's just cheaper and easier to keep moving get on the road just take the bus down to Knoxville and then I'll be there so 
Yeah, I'm a little bit tired from this walk and it's starting to get hot and humid, but uh, yeah, it's going pretty good. All right, just made it into Knoxville. It was, uh, the Greyhound was super delayed. It's now like 9.30 almost, but Rachel's gonna come and pick me up here, which is nice. Then I will be done with this journey. I'm just sitting here in a dog park because it was the closest place and got some pizza. Oh, it's been a long, long journey. I'm tired. I have made it back to Tennessee. I think I'm going to end the video here in the tiny house that I built a couple years ago and spent eight days in total isolation from the rest of the world back before the pandemic when everyone had to be isolated. Uh, check out that video as well. Um, yeah, it's very weird to be back here in this house. It has been overrun by nature. All the animals are moving back in. The vegetation is growing back up around it. It looks like it has uh, been treated about the same way as a lot of us were over the last two years. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a trip to be back here. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.